This is Lauren Rinder from Rinder Smith Photography. We're in beautiful Teton National Park in front of the Molten Barn, which is a uh, pretty much of a destination for photographers. We're here to show you all about focus. Every workshop we do, every place we go, um, all the classes that I teach, there's always an issue with focus. So we're going to try to nail down the problems. Okay? We're going to start with uh, setting your diopter. Okay, how do you set your diopter? First of all, look in your camera manual. It will tell you exactly where the diopter is on your camera, find it, and learn how to use it. But to set your diopter, you must take the lens off. It's the only way. You have to take the lens off of your camera. What? Take your camera off, take a look up at the sky. Or in this case, some white snow or a piece of white paper or whatever. And what you're going to see is just a big blur. And everybody goes, well, I, I can't change my diopter, and it doesn't move, and the blur is the same. Well, it's always going to be blurry because you don't have a lens on. You're going to see little boxes. Those are the focus boxes. You want those to be sharp. Press your shutter release down, and those little boxes will usually light up on most cameras. You want to set those little boxes to where they are tack sharp, and that's it. Setting the diopter, and then set it, and forget it. Put your lens back on, and you're ready to shoot for the day. One of the most important things that you can buy, and probably the second most important piece of equipment that you can own as a photographer, is a good, strong, steady, supportive tripod. Uh, you can get a great tripod for $200, $300 or so. I particularly like ball heads. I don't like quick release heads because I've seen in workshops too many accidents where people will walk away and forget the little clip or hit it wrong or something like that and boom there goes your camera and your lens and everything else. Uh, a good strong tripod is extremely important. Okay one of the most important things also is a cable release. A good cable release, uh, just about every company makes one for their cameras. I don't like infrared cable releases because they have batteries in them and I just don't like things with batteries in them because you are invariably always going to forget your batteries. I like a hot wired cable release. Really, really, really important. I like them a lot. Any kind of vertical movement on the camera or any kind of movement, it just gets you away from any kind of issues that you're going to have with movement in the camera. You want to stop all the movement. Another really important thing is mirror lockup. 99% of most of the modern cameras have mirror lockup. Mirror lockup is another step towards getting you good solid focus and no camera movement. It locks the mirror up so there's no vibration when that shutter goes off, especially at slower shutter speeds. The mirror lockup is classic. You just set it, look in your camera manual. You'll find it. Mirror lockup. You just lock the mirror up, it locks up, and then you hit the shutter release again, and it automatically takes care of everything. A good thing to have. There are also times when you'll be using your camera handheld. Here's another great tip. It's rolling your finger across the shutter release instead of pushing down. You don't want to push down on the camera because when you push down, you're going to create vertical movement. 90% of all out-of-focus pictures is from vertical movement, not horizontal movement, vertical movement, and that's usually by you jamming the shutter down. What you want to do is roll your finger across the shutter. It just takes a little while to get used to it, but it's a great tip and something you really should try. All you have to do is just, instead of pushing down like this, that's going to make your camera do that, you just roll your finger across the top. Nothing to it. A lot better. Trust me on that.